Sky related products. 40486 is the level to watch. And Abby, we've got through that level right now. Indeed, $1 trillion, the first chip maker to achieve that level. अगर तुम लोग आइटिकल इंजीनियरिंग में हो तो चार साल में तुम्हारा जान चला जाएगा हेलो गाइस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड टॉपिक्स दैट पीपल आस्क इट्स अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन बिट्स एंड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन जनरल व्हाट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड व्हाट डू यू गेट आफ्टर यू ग्रेजुएट व्हाट आर द कोर्सेज व्हाट आर द प्रोफेसर्स लाइक इन बिट्स एंड is it actually worth it is there a hype around electrical engineering people say it's very very difficult people say it's very hard to cope up with but what is the reality behind it and what are the opportunities that you get post year engineering degree are people in electrical engineering allowed to sit for com computer science related placements as well so let's understand let's deep dive into that and let's understand everything from scratch First of all let's talk about the opportunities in electrical engineering so there are definitely certain amazing companies which come every year to some of the top colleges like you know IIT or BITS or NIT or whichever college that you're in there are certain companies which definitely do visit there are companies like Texas Instruments Qualcomm Nvidia Expressive Systems these are certain companies which definitely come year after year and then definitely take a really really good chunk of students so especially in IT it's not very clear of what companies come every year because the, the, we expect certain companies to come every year but then they sometimes they do come sometimes they don't but in case of electrical engineering it's not like that especially companies like TA they they definitely look out for engineers especially they want as many electronic students as possible so even this year in placements during our 2019 batch placements so i just finished my engineering electrical engineering from bits goa there were close to 50 students who were participating in the core electronics processes which means they were trying to get into core electrical engineering companies and all of them got placed i mean it was one of the really amazing things to like see that all of them got placed in pretty good companies like samsung electronics there was nxp semiconductor there was qualcomm there was nvidia there was texas instruments and all of them they got placed with pretty pretty decent packages with and most of these companies they offer between 20 lp to lpa to 30 lpa most of these companies offer in that range so i think it's very very comparable to lot of it companies so i think there there's a lot of opportunity there and in terms of opportunity in general when it comes to electrical engineering i think it's increasing every every time right i mean because during the time of recession lot of it companies they were firing people they were not very interested in taking people to their company but then there were companies like Nvidia who were just giving out referrals the people in my batch itself they were like Texas Instruments is hiring Nvidia is hiring Qualcomm is hiring if you ever want a referral or something do message us so it was one of those amazing things to see that even in terms of a, even during the time of a recession electronics companies are still hiring a lot even almost a week back i got a referral from nvidia and we had an online test a few days back so i think the hiring scene is great i don't know if you guys follow the news but there are companies like nvidia which are booming almost in an exponential rate because ai is the future and we see tools like chat gpt and half a dozen other ai tools which came and they just completely changed the way we work right and behind all those ai tools and everything behind that there are chips which are manufactured by these very electronics companies the companies like nvidia they massive gpus at scale and because of that their revenues have multiplied like i don't know like almost 10x over the last year i'm not very sure of the data but this because of this their market caps have increased almost twice or thrice i mean nvidia last year it, its market cap was around 650 billion now it has crossed a trillion dollar market cap i think that is insanely amazing because not a very very less number of companies which are into chip manufacturing and if you are very very passionate about electronics you definitely have a chance of making big bucks there was a professor in my college i mean he was one of the really really cool professors he was teaching us microelectronic circuits and during his time he just after he finished uh, teaching us microelectronic circuits for our batch he left his job and then he went and joined as a staff engineer at uh, silicon labs i think it was one of the upcoming startups and he said that he was paid 
10 x compared to his job at bits i mean that's a that's a lot of money right i mean considering that bits pays you pretty good so i think there's a lot of opportunity in electronics especially considering evs and ai and this this and increase in the need for faster computing in general i think we are going to see an exponential growth in terms of the number of electrical engineers required and in general people i think there's a lot of job security and a lot of money involved in electrical engineering as well let's so let's talk about the courses the curriculum and the professors especially from sorry from a bits point of view because i just finished my four years at bits in electrical engineering and to say the least i got to learn a lot but then it is definitely not easy and electrical engineering is one of the extremely tough branches out there even if you google anywhere which is the toughest branch will be electrical engineering because for the first reason the concepts are not straight forward i mean you need to put a lot of effort into trying to understand each and everything from scratch and at the same time there's a lot of competition involved as well because people especially if you're in a good college people definitely they try to get a good cgpa and your cgpa is the basis for which companies generally assess you because especially company like texas instruments they generally have a really really good bonding with bits and they expect the students to at least know what they have learned in their courses during bits there are certain courses like digital design microelectronic circuits uh in your first second semester you learn something called be the basics of electrical engineering so that's that's very very important where you learn about rc circuits and maybe if you're in 11th and 12th you might have learned a little bit about that so i think that's very very important and unlike computer science you will not find a lot of resources on the internet i mean you will find resources i think there are there are pretty great resources but youtube channels and courses and geeks or geeks and thousands of hundreds of so much of content available on the internet for free whereas for electrical engineering it's slightly on the lesser side you need to depend more on your professors and your previous year papers and your notes to get ahead because i don't think this except for like certain places like niso academy and that there are channels of course but then the professor kind of knowledge that the professors give you that's that's very niche that's very very how do you say it? it's and they expect you to know these kind of things and especially when you go deeper and when the numericals get tougher it makes sense to like have the knowledge from the professors so i think it it makes sense to attend classes and have a good idea about electrical engineering in general so let's talk about the professors in electrical engineering from bits to be very very honest the professors in electrical engineering are insanely amazing i mean i many people many students in electrical engineering they may not like these professors because of their harsh grading or they might be strict or a lot of other reasons especially if you go to certain meme pages from bits go you'll find a lot of trashy content about the professors but then to be very honest they are very very knowledgeable some you know from bits go especially the hod he was under he did his undergraduate from bits plani and then he went to stanford to do his masters and phd and then he worked in broadcom which is one of the biggest companies out there in silicon valley he left that job and then he came to bits goa to teach electrical electrical engineering so i mean you'll see very very less number of people who are that accomplished and so learning from those guys especially when they teach us you you get a much much deeper understanding of things i think which made it worth it especially courses like digital design and microelectronic circuits and and my microprocessors these are tough courses in general but then these professors they they teach you extremely well so you, you can't blame them for anything but yes grading is harsh is on the harsher side especially it is not extremely easy to get a good grade especially in a college like bits because in other colleges you will find on average they'll give you b or an a minus or something like that but then in electrical engineering in bits it's pretty strict i mean you generally you get a b minus or a c so that's it's something that most people hate because you work so hard even then you end up with like a 7 or 7.5 so that is not extremely 
great especially mm-hmm. when you go and apply for certain other companies when you when they see your grades they're like okay my you didn't study that well in college why not but actually you did put a lot of effort so but then it may not necessarily translate that on paper but then i think most of the people here they especially during the second year they must might have put a lot of effort into their into their electronic subjects because as far as i know especially in my junior batch and in my batch and in my seniors the second year in electrical engineering is probably the most difficult year throughout their college life because the academics are so so stressful that you know you just you have to study i mean if you don't study you're just going to fail and i think that i think that will kind of push you to do well in college as well so let's talk about the final but then the thing with electrical engineering is that most people they prefer to do a masters a few years later on this is primarily because this is primarily because the knowledge that you gain in your undergrad it may not be sufficient if you want to go and apply at a tech institutions in the US because that's where all the cutting edge development is happening and most of the roles in india are mostly test based test or verification based roles which may not interest everybody so i think if you are interested in core core electrical engineering i think doing a masters it sort of gives you a very big push whereas certain people in computer science it's not necessary for them to do a masters if they want to let's say grow their career because i think experience also matters a lot especially in it and i see a lot of my friends in cs they are not even planning on doing a masters because they are very very satisfied with the jobs that they have and then they just continue in their jobs and they might even try to get an internal transfer from one company to another and i know a friend of mine he's a senior of mine from bits goa uh, he worked in google google bangalore and then he got an internal transfer to google san francisco so i think that's very much possible but then i'm not very sure if that's possible in in an electronics company like tech instruments and a very important thing is the practice school system which is implemented in bits and one of the really really cool things about the practice school system is that you'll get allotted a company based on your cgpa and i know many of my friends they had a cgpa of around 7 7.5 ish and then they got their 6 month internship in texas instruments i know a friend of mine he got he did a 6 month internship in texas instruments bangalore and post that he got a ppo from texas instruments itself which means that you are getting a 6 month internship with a stipend which can really really help you boost your profile in that field and you'll get to learn and talk to people who are already in the industry you will see if you are a good fit for them and if they are they're a good fit for you and you will be able to analyze do you want to work in the company and they'll be able to help you out with your career choices as well i think that is very very good in my opinion i think that's the best thing about bits having so what do you do if you're not interested in electronics at all so this is something that almost a lot of people in electrical engineering face they're not very interested into dealing with resistors and capacitors and all these sort of things throughout their lifetime so what other options are available for you let's take my case for example i was not very much fascinated by electronics at all so which is why i went into the software development firm and what i did was i tried to take as many courses related to computer science as possible i took up courses like dsa i took oop i took uh, data i took uh, artificial intelligence and i took up Uh, digital image processing i did a lot of related courses in computer science and i did a project with a computer science professor which really really helped me poise helped me for my placements as well and during my summer internship i worked with a startup it was a bitsian startup and through there i learned a lot about game development and ar vr and i went through the entire grind of grinding dsa lead code questions day in and day out because that's what helps you get through the tough coding rounds of big big companies and luckily i got my 6 month internship that is my practice school at a pretty cool place called piramal it's in big nbfc in mumbai so i worked there as a data analytics intern i worked i was doing i was building machine learning models for the company which helps predict the defaulters and how to it helps it, improve their risk rates in the business so that's what i did and from there i got a pre placement offer in the companies and there was a recession going on the placements were affected but luckily i got a pre placement offer so i didn't have to worry so much and i was just chilling out throughout the last semester 
and what do you do if you're not interested in coding or electronics so one option which is left for you is finance and consulting there are a lot of people in bits who go down that path there are people who take up this finance minors that they have there are certain courses which you can take up they try to ace those courses so that you can get a really really good practice school which means if you can land a good practice school during those six months you can work extremely extremely hard and then you can try converting that into a ppo so which this will definitely help increase your chances of getting into those companies and generally companies like morgan stanley and jp morgan goldman sachs these co companies they don't visit ev every college so this op this is a very unique opportunity to like you work with this company for six months and after that you get a pre-placement offer based on your performance especially if you're a dual aid let's say if you're working in if you're in economics and computer science there's a lot of demand for those those niche areas because you can either get into the uh, software firms or you can work in big banks like goldman sachs if you've done well in your courses that is and there are a lot of people who opt for this finance minor and they try to do extremely well in the finance minor because that will help them op open new opportunities for themselves and and this will help them with their certain MBA applications in the future as well there are people who genuinely they try to do MBA in foreign universities so having certain finance courses it might help them boost their profile and given that you worked in certain investment banks before it might actually help them understand that okay this is what you're interested in you've actually done work in that pre work in related areas previously and that will help you increase your chances so this is what i did and this is what many people did and that gives you a lot of exposure into different things so if you're an electrical engineer you can definitely try it, it's difficult to pivot from it's not very easy to like take up other courses and study and take up the extra burden that you have already but it obviously makes sense to like give it a shot and that's it from my side guys if you did like the video make sure to subscribe there are a lot more amazing videos coming up especially in the next few weeks there are a lot of amazing podcasts a lot of interesting value based information for you guys so make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon as well i'll see you in the next video bye bye